Hey, it's Pasty's Prime here, and welcome back to Surviving Mars, where we're continuing our playthroughs of the various mysteries, and we are continuing the Beyond Earth mystery. We have obviously started the mystery in the last video, and we are trying to help some old billionaire do great things, potentially for the planet. Who knows? We don't really know if he's got good interests at all, or he's just being a selfish uh, old billionaire. Who knows? But we have a rocket going to come here looking for 80 uh, electronics. So what we should do is bring some in. Because we have that ability. Hang on, it says we have 143. Wait, wait a second. Oh, it does say we have 143. Okay, maybe we won't bring any in then. Because I brought in so much last time when we went to do oh, this, which we're still going to do. The high speed com. There's more to the barren environs of the world. Oh man, we're getting all this research and I can't do it because I'm doing uh, all this. Oh, we're not outsourcing. Yeah, we could have even boosted the research with some of these things. Uh, that one especially. And that one, the Hawking Institute. But we're sort of jamming those out. I'm just going to crank that up just to be sure. And we'll just keep Sector an eye on seven. things, make sure things are working. Goal completed. Reward 30 scientists. Applicants. Okay. Great. I really don't want... <laughs> I really don't want those. I mean, you could do that, but it's going to give us 30 engineer applicants. I, uh, I don't care. Um, you do get bonuses for finishing. Have 10 Martian-born specialists. We have none. There's more to the barren environs of the red planet. Yeah, look, you could get a, uh, what do you call it? No. Oh, God. Oh, they put these things here. Yeah, I mean, you could get research bonuses for doing this stuff. Anyway. I'm not too fussed. Let's see if we can get some more metal. Uh, it would be good to get the automatic one, but I guess that's not going to happen. Not while we're doing all this research. You can go... Well, we can keep doing it manually. It's not a big deal. Research complete. Okay, Alderan Base has Our contributions advanced. towards the Beyond Earth project have been received, and we have Reed Goddenberry's everlasting thanks on behalf of humanity's future. So, if we just keep doing these, Yeah, it's a pity, um, it's a pity you can't see the advancement of each of the projects. That would have been really nice. And that in itself shouldn't be a mystery, right? This guy's obviously building these. He's doing them, the billionaire. He would know the advancement. So he should tell us we're doing the work for him. He should be able to tell us how advanced each one is. I don't think that's unreasonable to ask that. So I think that's a bit of a pity that they didn't do that. Um, don't really want to. Don't want to use up a lot of fuel because these guys want the fuel. Okay, you go down there.
Sector scanned. Just check. Nothing new. No. All right. So you get your 30 fuel and 80 electronics. Yeah, I wonder if you can get all of them finished or if they're expecting you to just do one and that's it, it's all over. I mean, it'd be great to get them all done. Sector scanned. Anomaly analyzed. There's more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets. I really want the research progress. I don't want stupid. Uh, other stuff. Uh, okay. Port Vista project has advanced. The Beyond Earth initiative needs more materials for the completion of its various projects. All right, let's do so. I'm assuming that got counted as being done. So let's go back to the Alderon base. What? Did, is this coincidentally popped at the same time? Further research into the condition of the patient has been made. The first batch of custom medication seems to have had quite the uplifting effect on them. Their condition was proven to be not contagious. They are now allowed to wander the dome at will. Despite still being able to see with one eye, what language the patient speaks is currently unknown, thus barring all outlets for communication short of gesturing. Still, our colonists seem to be reacting positively to this small solace afforded to the ailing stranger. For further research into the patient's condition, the pharmaceutical lab will require another transaction of 50 million to be approved. Sure thing. We spare no expense on our planet here. Metal. Bring it back. Uh, metal. Might as well get the closest metal. Sector scanned. Sector scanned. Oh, you want thirty analyzed of each. Uh, machine parts might be a little bit of a problem. There's more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure. Now, that's one thing what we're missing here where am I storing where are all these polymers see really what we should do is I go polymers and I say I want 180 and even this right rare metals so I want 180. We'll take them off the universal, I would imagine, wouldn't we? Electronics. So 180. Not worried about the metal. Not worried about the concrete. Not worried about the food. Electronics, yeah. So then you could go machine parts. 180. Fuel. We have a few on. Not worried about that. So that's it. Research complete. 
Oh, we do have a polymer factory. I mean, that helps. Sector scanned. Hang on. And they're starting to get to you. So Port Vesta has advanced. Our contributions towards the Beyond Earth project have been received. And we have Reed Goddenberry's everlasting thanks on behalf of humanity's... Okay, we'll go to the Rubicon. Let's keep pushing it. Uh, you're there, so that one, that one, that one. Six, seven. Still, all these ones that haven't been scanned even a single time. Milestone achieved. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Cool. So that should give us some extra research. Now, you're coming in to get... all the special items. send you off we've discovered a magnificent vista at the site of the anomaly pity we don't need them okay you're gone Alderan Base Project has advanced. The Beyond Earth Initiative needs more materials for the completion of its various so, projects. So, okay, next one would be Spring City. And you want polymers, which is fine. Sector We've got, scanned. You want 80 polymers? Should be okay. The analysis tells us that we found... Oh my god, our physics projects are going to cost nothing soon. Yeah, so what I want to know, so at the end of the day, further research has been made and a new drug to extend the life of the patient is available. So far, the custom drugs seem to sustain the patient in a good enough condition for them to take short walks around the dome and even indulge in brief, enjoyable activities. Although unable to communicate with anyone of us, there seems to be a positive aura around the patient which fills our colonists with a certain determination to become better versions of themselves. For further research into the patient's condition, the pharmaceutical lab will require another transaction of 50 million. God, these pharmacists are getting paid a fortune. Anomaly analyzed. There's more to the barren environs of the red planet. Oh my god, look how much research we've got unlocked that <laughs> we're just not doing. Sector scanned. Funding received. is about to land. Sector scanned. Research complete. Our contributions towards the Beyond Earth project have been received. 
And okay. we have Reed Goddenberry's everlasting Spring City. Should trigger. There it is. Spring City has advanced. Again, it doesn't tell the us anything. Initiative needs more materials for the completion of its various projects. All right, let's go with the Rubicon now. Sector scanned. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, you go there, 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 there. Hundred and twenty metal this time. So let's just pause for a second. Let's make sure we go and get some more metal. Let's get a decent pile. There's one. Get you back here. And the other one. Get you going. Yeah, I mean, there's big piles around, but let's not go too far. Keep it close first. Well, that's tiny. Ah, do it anyway. Clean it up. Now, if I... Do that. And do that. Because this seems to be working. They seem to be taking them off and putting them on here. Discovered. Sector scanned. Travel time, okay. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Uh, outsource. Further research has been made and a new drug to extend the life of a patient is available. Who abandoned them here? Where did they come from? How did they get afflicted with their condition? Their health is deteriorating rapidly, yet they go around the dome, giving a hand to random colonists with mundane chores. We take it this is their way of giving thanks. Sickness and disease have more or less become a thing of the past for humanity. This is why people are reacting so strongly to the woes of this stranger and they're ever more inspired by the willfulness shown despite their grim situation. Sure, another 50. This is the, uh, 100, no. Oh god, I don't know how much I've spent now. Anomaly analyzed. Is the, he's going to be the one billion dollar man. Okay, let's land you. Sector scanned. I'll have to remember this for next time. If we build a, depo a, a platform, set it to 180, then, yeah, the universal one, you can get even more from it because they can keep moving the supplies that aren't used across. Fill up these and you've got practically an endless supply. I mean, I could even do it with the fuel. Realistically, I could set that to 180. Sector and then it will scan. just take it. There's more to the barren environment. Okay, Rubicon has moved. Beyond Earth Initiative. 
Oh. Needs more materials for the completion of its various projects. So Rubicon's now got all the metals it needs. Well, that's cool. Okay. So uh, let's just keep going. So there is a point where you don't need more. So what? That was two trips for Rubicon. 200 metal first one and then Rubicon station is complete. What was until recently pure science fiction has now become a reality. Rubicon station has been built and is already receiving its first permanent residence. A shipyard built in deep space. The station is expected to grow humanity's spacefaring capacity a thousandfold. The unique location of the base is also perfect for fringe research purposes, boosting humanity's understanding of the universe. This project may have never been completed without our help and guidance. Reed Gutenberry's vision has become more real than ever. Reduce cost of physics and engineering techs by 10%. The solar system just became a smaller place. Cool. I like it. Um. Oh, we're paused. Research complete. Okay, hang on a second. Get rid of that. So we just did another one. I mean, I don't know. Do we just? At some point, do they all vanish? I have no idea. Our contributions towards the Beyond Earth project have been received, and we have Reed Goddenberry's everlasting thanks on behalf of humanity's future. Okay, so once they're finished, they're finished. Okay. Um, I don't know which one I'm up to now. Let's go pick Port Vesta. I don't know. Has he requested? Oh, yeah, he has. Yeah, yeah, Aldrin. Yep. Ah, uh, hang on. This thing stopped. We go there. Then we go there. There, there. Uh, yep. Yeah. Getting... Getting close. Sector scanned. Breakthrough discovered. Yeah, the old mole people. Sector scanned. Further research has been made and a new drug to extend the life of the patient is available. It is becoming quite obvious that we are fighting a futile battle. We are far from understanding this condition and although we may prolong the life of the patient a bit more, a deeper understanding that the disease is still far from our reach and will remain so. The patient is still able to walk around the dome but will soon be submitted to the infirmary for one last treatment. Despite the grand sum of money being spent on the patient to no avail, our colonists seem to celebrate the effort done to help ease a stranger's life. Paying for further research will prolong the life of the patient a bit further, but will have no value towards discovering a cure for the mystery sickness. That's fine. Alright, let's land you.
Sector scanned. Okay. Alderaan Base Project has advanced. The Beyond Earth Initiative needs wow, Alderaan Base needs a lot. Of its various projects. Okay. Well, let's go with Port Vesta again this time. I mean, we'll keep cycling through. So, for some reason, I, uh, some of them seem to require more than others, I guess. The patient has died. We did all we could but fell short at the end. Sickness is rare amongst humans in this age. We were all taken aback by how unprepared we were to fight this vicious foe. Yet through aiding the mysterious patient as much as we did, we realised that he is no stranger to us. We stand by one another as humans. The patient's stay with us was brief, but they left a changed colony behind them. Many, many colonists have engaged have gained the enthusiast perk an odd chapter of our colony's history ends that's a bit of a sad one actually yeah but at least we gave him a life we saved him tried to give him a good life cost us a damn fortune but you know i guess he got to enjoy the end of his life as good as it could yeah it's a bit of a sad one actually Sad but positive. I don't know. One of those weird things. Sector scanned. Building a new home on an alien world. Jesus. You only just came up with the lemons? God, you took your time. Research complete. Okay. Uh, yep. All right. Port Vesta project has advanced. That's from our research, right? Yeah. Our contributions towards the Beyond Earth project have been oh. received, and we have Reed Goddenberry's everlasting thanks on behalf of humanity's future. That's another one. Gone. Uh, okay, we'll do Spring City. So we can't do any more research. So it's not finished, but... Is this one here for Port Vesta? Because this may very well finish Port Vesta. Oh, Port Vesta's already finished. Well, why are we setting electronics? Um, An extraordinary okay. feat has been completed. An unparalleled milestone in humanity's history. Port Vesta has begun operations. At the heart of the asteroid belt, the mining base is predicted to end poverty on Earth and bring an abundance of materials from all needs far and wide across the solar system. The first shipments are already Earth-bound, and while free and endless materials may await us in the future, for now we have been given the know-how to upgrade all of our extractors and make them more productive. The mega-project envisaged by Reed Goddenberry has been completed plus 20 percent extractor production humanity is conquering the solar system so i guess you've got two options it seems to be that you've got the research or you've got also the materials or combination of the two which i've done to complete these you didn't have to do both i guess you could have got away with one or the other which is what we've sort of partly done we've done a mixture of both but some things completed with the materials and some things completed with the research now sector scanned this is a waste um and it hasn't bothered to correct itself but that's fine we can spare it
Yeah, so these extractors, if we had more, would have been boosted because of it. I, I don't know where you'd see it other than just here. Uh, choose a trade rocket. Needs more materials for the completion of its various projects. Well, we did Elder Run before, so let's go Spring. Yeah, the Port Festa one that was a waste right now, but sector scanned. It's fine. It's all good. I don't even know what our research is investing in right now. But we'll keep pushing them. Okay, I'm going to turn you off. We do not need you. Sector scanned. Okay, uh, 80 polymers, yep. We can do that. And that'll just leave the Aldrin base. Maybe if this finishes this one, I don't know if it will, but we'll see. Sector scanned. Okay, that has advanced. The Beyond Earth Initiative needs yep. more materials for the completion of its very. Just need the Elder Run now, so that should pop up and say it's been completed. I would imagine. Here it is. From the idealistic vision of one eccentric old billionaire, to a farm world meant to feed all of humanity's current and possible future needs. Spring City has now begun food production. Many heated regions on Earth were hungry and strife are rampant will now be saved. Our role in the realization of this project is far from overlooked and we have been sent new crops which are an extremely tough, healthy and nutritious to use on our own farms. The Beyond Earth initiative brings humanity closer to a place where hunger and poverty will become nothing more than the woes of yesterday. New Ganymed rice hydroponic crop available. Can't wait to see what this does for the salad quality down here. Hydroponic crop. Okay, no so... Active research. Oh, they're all gone. Ha, huh, okay. Of course they are. So, okay, so it's literally finished. I can't do any more research for any of them. So, well, we'll just add a few in here, especially the breakthroughs. What I was gonna do. So if we build a hydroponic farm, for instance, research complete. There it is, Ganymede rice. So if we have a look. Water consumption is one. Growth time is one soul. 
you get six uh, food reduced 0.5. So if you look at, yeah, that's okay. That's a lot better than that. I mean, I guess it's efficient. In time to witness. Wait, the rocket's gone. Do we only have to do three of them or something? The Beyond Earth initiative has been deemed a success. Already the efforts of this massive endeavor are bearing fruit. A time of change changes befalling the human race, a time of unity and hope for a brighter future that must, most couldn't have imagined just a short few years ago. A massive push by thousands of people and the best that two worlds had to offer has become a reality. Our role will never be forgotten and the everlasting gratitude of a spacefaring humanity will always be a factor. And spearheading the whole affair, the vision of an eccentric old billionaire who wished to see the bright future of his kind before his passing. History will remember Reed Goddenberry, a visionary of mankind, gained a new technology, large-scale extraction. A new era of humanity has dawned. Uh, okay, what is that? Is it a wonder? Well, uh, okay, but that that is the wonder. Hang on, does it show you in here? Large scale extractor. So they basically gave you the wonder, the extractor. So, in honor of him, we will have to build it. Because that would just be the right thing to do, wouldn't it? Um, is that in... Where do you have to put the cable to? I can never remember on this one. I'm going to turn it around that way, maybe. Maybe that's what we need. Um, are we going to need more power? Possibly. We'll do of those. Sector scanned. I'm assuming the entire mystery is finished. But since that's what we got, uh, we're going to build this and that will be our, I guess that will be our completion of the mystery. I'm going to go with that anyway. Now I'm assuming we didn't get any, no. No planetary anomalies. Open the eye. Sector scanned. Three hundred metal. Sector scan. That's a bit of metal. Two hundred machine parts. It's going to take a while to build it. Well, not that long. We'll get there. We're, we're, thick, we're thick. almost there now already. 
And we'll get a research bonus from um, completing a wonder. Research complete. Mm, yeah, let's just add that in. All the breakthroughs. Here we go. Sector scanned. Research complete. Bang. There it is. Right. Yeah, we got 5,000 for doing a wonder. Well, we could fully upgrade it, you know. That's a lot of machine. <laughs> Should we fully upgrade it? What do we reckon? What do we reckon? These should all be a lot cheaper. Um, not sure I really care though, but... send you back let's bring in sorry so what machine parts machine parts machine parts all right cargo Let's go broke bringing in machine parts. Okay, that'll be the first step. So you just do concrete, right? <laughs> uh, so let's just pile up concrete. Meteor shower let's turn this off because we don't need this anymore. Let's actually, uh, let's kill it. Because we are not going to need that. Oh, I forgot we had that breakthrough. That was really quick getting here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I am going to put that there. I'm going to set that to 180. I'm actually going to set that to nothing. Get rid of that one. Just for now. Well, not for now. Forever. We don't need any more. Once we've done this, well, we don't even need to do this. But we're just doing it for fun. Sector 
sector scanned. Yeah, you can't leave because of all the machine parts. Sector scanned. Sector scanned. Well, this machine definitely gets rid of any problems with concrete. Because you don't need to deposit, and it just goes forever. Uh, yeah, there will be a lot of waste rock, though. So, yeah, complete. you'd probably definitely like to have... Uh, something that would um, what am I thinking of something that would use the waste rock up let's put it that way sector scanned alright we're almost there on the last leg here We'll fire it up in a minute. Uh, just before it. Now fire it up. Oh, it's malfunction now. Good on it. And running fully upgraded. There we go. So it's consuming 120 power. And we're making a predicted 125 concrete per sol. Excellent. All right. So that's, I guess, extra on top of the mystery. We didn't, I assume we didn't need to do that, but uh, we wanted to do it anyway. Why not? It was in honor of the great work of the old billionaire. Whatever his name was, I've forgotten. It was going to go down in history as never being forgotten, and I've already forgotten. <laughs> so there you go. It was Goodenberry or something. Uh, the day claimed our last. Oh, good timing. Rest in peace, buddy. All right, so there we go. We're going to call it there. We have run out of time. So in the next video, I guess we're going to go to the next mystery. But uh, obviously the next video will be setting up our colony, getting it prepared to trigger the mystery, whatever that is. And, um, and then, yeah, seeing what the mystery does when it triggers so yeah the next video obviously setting up the base and uh getting it ready so let me know your thoughts opinions in the comments uh are you enjoying the mysteries did you like this mystery um d have you done it let me know your thoughts all that sort of stuff anything you want to see in the game in particular do let me know otherwise we're just you know we're going to continue running through all the mysteries till we get to the end of them and then we'll see what happens after that. Uh, so let me know your thoughts, opinions, everything else. And uh, read all the comments. Answer every comment as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.